Kate Middleton has a reputation for using cunning disguises when she travels with her kids, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. This keeps her identity a secret. With her three kids by her side, Kate Middleton loves to celebrate. The Prince and Princess of Wales have regularly received praise for their active parenting of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Kate and William are senior royals, but that in no way precludes them from having a good time with their kids. The official London residence of the Prince and Princess of Wales, Tamara Ecclestone, and her husband Jay Rutland both reside in apartment 1A in Kensington Palace, and they both have the upscale Kensington postcode. According to Mr. Rutland, Kate's 57-room, £70 million home in the prestigious neighborhood was the perfect place for her to take her kids trick-or-treating on Halloween. On his personal Instagram account on Wednesday, Mr. Rutland requested that his 136,000 followers ask me a question. A follower inquired, How do you feel about William and Catherine? The director of the Maddox Gallery said, William is warm, engaging, and kind. On Halloween in London, Kate and their children knocked on our home, trick or treating, incredibly cordial and straightforward, added he. The Princess of Wales, who is renowned for her excellent taste and stylish prowess, is unlikely to dress in a frightening mask and amuse her kids by ringing doors. But Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis would have most certainly enjoyed it. A short drive from the Wallace's Norfolk residence, Amher Hall, the practical royal mother Kate was spotted browsing Halloween costumes with Prince George and Princess Charlotte in the King's Lynn Sainsbury's Hardwick store in 2019. However, Kate had covered her identity in public before having children. William and Kate previously resided in an adorable home in Anglesey, Wales, before relocating to Kensington Palace. A theater manager related a story about the prince and princess dressing up in fancy clothes and wearing huge afro wigs to watch Toy Story 3 in disguise. The manager revealed, Prince William's was purple, if I recall correctly, enabling royal admirers to picture the situation even more clearly. In an effort to hide themselves, the royal couple would occasionally be seen driving around in a decrepit white Ford Transit van wearing baseball caps and sunglasses, according to an artist who lives in the area where they used to reside. When they realized it was them, everyone thought it was hilarious. William as a white van man was hilarious. People know Kate for using a fictitious name when she's out in public, so in order to avoid being recognized when her name is heard in public, Kate has been known to go by a pseudonym. Shortly after her wedding, Kate made a mistake while visiting the shops back in Anglesey when she unintentionally left her purse behind. She was trying to buy a swimsuit at a fun sport water sports store close to her house. She realized she couldn't pay for the item as she approached the register to make a purchase. The princess gave the merchant a code name so that the journey wouldn't be in vain. Kate approached the cash registers to inquire about the possibility of reserving the wetsuit for later pickup. When the store owner inquired about her name, the princess responded, Mrs. Cambridge, when the shopkeeper asked her name. A source at the time stated to the mail on Sunday, Bucky was pleased with it, but he then pulled out a pen and requested her name. She responded, Mrs. Cambridge, perhaps seeking to downplay the fact that she would one day become queen. He genuinely said that it was a rather unusual last name while staring directly at her. He was unaware of her identity. She simply grinned and promised to return.